relationships with other organisations, whether it be national, community level, I am a big believer it is just get out there, knock on doors, make yourself known. I think people respond to a face and they can't put the phone down to a face, can they? So I think if you are there on people's doorsteps, you are willing to engage, you are willing to listen. We have three very different demographic areas. Um, so trying to engage everybody in our community has been a challenge just in itself. I think you have to go back to the grassroots, you have to go door knocking, you have to have those conversations. There are going to be barriers, there are going to be people who don't want to talk to you, but as long as you've got the support from Big Local, your partnership, it's accessing training and finding new ways and exploring different avenues on how to engage with people and get involved in the community. I think just talk to people, just talk, whether it be talking to your neighbours or talking to the next village, talking with other big locals, find out what challenges they've had, how have they overcome them and pick up tips and ideas and then just go and try. <laughs> and it's about doing fun events and events to bring more people in that are diverse and lots of different ideas and you know lots of different yes. different things to do. It's about promoting equality. If it's an idea and it's a passionate idea, as a group of you, go for it. Even if it might not work in the end, you can always learn from your mistakes. You always know what not to do for the next time you have an idea. But if you've got a good idea and it's something unusual that the community might be interactive in and be more interested and get, and get, get a name out, then just go for it. It's amazing the people you'll meet, the conversations you'll have, the lessons you'll learn, the ideas will be shared and I just think that's the best way forward is just jump out of your comfort zone and get in there and submerge yourself in the community.